Hi there everybody. Today we're looking at an iPad that's experiencing some ghosting issues on the screen uh, or it also it could be described as uh, screen burn-in. At least it manifests with these types of symptoms. So let's take a closer look here. If we look at the icons in the dock, there's some discoloration in those icons in the dock. And when we look at the clock over here, not the clock, <laughs> battery and Wi-Fi status, uh, we can see here that the color's a little off and the characters are a little broken. Same situation here over, over where the clock and the time are. Uh, the font appears to be a little bit broken up. The problem is extremely obvious when we open up something like Safari, and now I can clearly see some of those home screen icons that are that are burning through on this white background. All right. So looking at it like this, it looks like there's some kind of screen burn-in problem. Uh, on the surface, it looks like a hardware issue, but we can mask the problem. And here's how we're going to do it. Wow. After doing that, we can see the uh, burn in of that white Safari screen here. Let's go to the settings and I've already searched for white searching the settings to find reduce white point and under reduce white point I'm going to turn that on. Uh, it appears the default is about 80% reduction and by reducing the white point we're reducing the whitest part or the brightest parts, and this will mask the problem. Now, we can take a look at these dock icons, and the colors appear to be normal again. Same thing here for the battery and Wi-Fi status. The color and the font appears to be normal. Uh, when we go into Safari, it's way better this time around. I can still see some breakthrough ghosting and screen burn in, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was initially. And after a while, uh, depending on your settings, uh, this will be less and less noticeable. Uh, of course, this depends on what apps you're using specifically. Uh, I find that if you turn on dark mode for as many apps as possible, this will make a big difference as far as masking the problem. Again, this doesn't solve the problem, but it appears to mask the problem enough where you can continue getting some pretty good mileage out of your device. Uh, another thing you can consider using is the Smart Invert function. And what the Smart Invert function will do is it'll just flip, every, flip the colors dark to light for uh, system-wide, uh, except for your photos. And you can see whichever, just use whichever method will leave the screen with the darkest possible uh, colors. Uh, th oh, this also means you should set your background image to a darker background image. Here we've got this factory default you know, starscape background, so that's pretty dark as it is. Uh, let's do a screen rotation here. Uh, yeah, that's great. We can still see a little bit of burn-in from before. Yes, from that photos icon. All right, there we go. But again, it's way more usable than it was before. So give this a shot if you've got what appears to be some screen ghosting or burn-in problems on your iPad. I bet you this would probably work with other iDevices too if you're having a similar issue.